I would like to show you how to map a bunch of samples into contact using creator tools, uh, using the Lua uh, script feature in creator tools, and using a bit of a um, higher level abstraction built around uh, the features that are provided uh, with this with this Lua scripting tool in creator tools for contact. So um, if we look over here, or actually let's go back here, there's a little button over here. Uh, you click it, this downloads the framework itself. Uh, once you unzip it somewhere, you have the framework. Uh, it doesn't include the samples. So these are samples that we will be working with in this, um, this video. So I added the samples manually later. So what you would need to do is unzip it. And then just like in the example, um, if you don't want to mess around too much with paths or anything, you would put your um, samples that you want to work with uh, in the samples folder of the framework, like so in this subfolder, like I have it set up here. Okay, so once you have the downloaded the framework, unzipped it and put your samples in there, um, then you want to do some uh, mapping into contact. Now, uh, in this uh, example over here, I would like to show how we do the mapping based on tokens found in the sample names. So if we go into these particular samples that we have over here, um, we see that they are, it's some um, just samples that I sampled from a Euro, Euro rack, so it's some Vermona oscillator with some like, yeah, some cool stuff going around. Um, and there's like three different um, particular sounds and each of them has um, like 12 samples, so across one octave. And if you can see over here, all the way on the right, there's the note numbers of each sample. So 60 to 71 uh, on each of these. So uh, in the contact context, I would like each one of these uh, to be a group. So we would need a way to um, tell our script if we want to do this automatically that each um, particular folder with each, like if there's a unique name, then this should be a group in itself or it doesn't even have to be a folder. So we will be looking at the sample names. So um, I guess this would be the, the token. Um, okay, so sorry, let's go one step back. So if you look at the sample names themselves, you will see that there's a lot of information here, right? There's like, um, yeah, some Ramona unicycle longs. I guess this would be kind of the collection it comes from. And then some numbering scheme inside the collection. And then there's a particular name. You see this is unicycle sign open 01, and then try open 01. Um, then this one's called creative. So each one has a particular name. So a script would need to kind of parse that and know that once it encounters a particular name, then that name goes into a certain group. And then uh, each inside each of these groups, um, there would be a zone for each of these particular notes over here. So yeah, that's kind of what we have. Um, that we have. That's kind of what we have to parse. So if we want to do this with Lua, there's yeah, lots of ways to do this. But in order to do this with this framework. Uh, we can go back to the front end and there's a bunch of stuff over here but let's um, disregard for a moment like a sample set integrity and audio tools and all that stuff over here on the right let's focus on what we're trying to do here which is the mapping so um, what this thing uh, actually does this little front end is all it does is it creates this um, variables file which would be the parameters of the script that we run just a list of parameters of um, later we'll be running this script actually and it tells that script what to do. So what we want to do right now, remember again, all we want to do is map the samples. Um, so we need to kind of, first let's have this turned on verbose mode. We'll give, um, make sure to give the path where the samples are located. So again, in this case, it's just simply the uh, subfolder, the sample subfolder uh, of the downloaded framework. Um, and yeah, and then you would need to turn on the auto mapper, make sure that it's turned on. And then here is where the kind of sort of magic happens. Um, we tell the script where to find particular information uh, about the sample. So uh, since Lua is one based, um, minus one means that not, not to look for that uh, token, but let's kind of skip that um, more, let's say deeper details for now. Let's look at what we actually have. So, oh, I did I close my? Okay, so if I go back here, we look at the samples, then we can see that, okay, first of all, the name, right? So let's count, uh, um, let's separate each token by a dash. And we actually have to tell the script that the token separator is a dash. So far, it supports either dash or underscore. So we're good to go. It's already on a dash. But then let's count them. So one, two, three, 
would be the sample name location and then four would be that um, root location right so okay root is already set to four here sample name should be set to three over here um, and then since what we have here is one note uh, per zone so we have one octave um, and there's there are no ranges here so there is no like um, low range or high range for each um, like there's no default for each of these and there's no location or anything so all but what we do want it to do we want to tell it okay confine um, the root to uh, the root node should be the the same the low and high node should be the same as the root node so we click key confine and velocity confine will just make sure that um, velocity is 0 to 127 um, the last thing we want to do here is because these are looping samples these are oscillator sounds so we want to turn on the loop um, and we want it to um, yeah to find to, to use the loop points that are stored in the sample and we also want to give it um, we can give it a little bit of the uh, loop cross fade already already via, via the script so once we have this whole thing set up what we need to do is click export variables this gives us this little text file um, and then what we would need to do is yeah just go over to our downloads copy it go back to our um, framework and replace like literally replace the parameters file with the parameters file that we want which is what we downloaded right now and then we can go back and it's already dragged in here but essentially we need to just basically drag the instrument script which is already set up we don't need to do anything else this is what the variables file is for so we set everything here and then we don't need to do any Lewis additional Lewis scripting um, we have to make sure we have a, a loaded instrument then we can um, run our script and we see that it's telling us yeah giving us exact information of um, everything that it did let's see if it did it correctly we can go inside it's playing group editor there should be three groups there are three groups the names are as they should be um, from the sample token and if we go oops let's go into the um, mapping editor um, list view we can see that it really nicely um, put everything as it should so this is a little bit of a small example of what you can do with this framework the framework itself you can find um, over here on github just look for uh, contact public for the code itself thanks everyone